Hey guys, welcome back to Age of Empires 2, and now we are going to be doing the Catalonian Field, which I said is kind of like a death match, and it pretty much is. You start out with a bunch of resources, and you start out in the Castle Age. So, you know, you start out with kind of an advantage, but uh, if you don't um, sort of build an army quickly, you're going to get overrun. So, it's, I don't think it's that hard, but it, it does have some difficulty to it, so we'll be playing that now. And now, said Father Ramond, is where I entered the story. The battle between Hun and Roman was fought at the end of June 451. The Romans were commanded by Aetius, a brilliant and celebrated general who had been held hostage by Attila when he was a boy. Aetius knew Attila and knew the Hunnic ways. Since he had returned to the Western Empire, Aetius had done more than any man to keep Rome alive throughout the period of barbarian invasions. His army was not large enough to face Attila alone, so Aetius convinced tribes of the Alans and Visigoths to ally with him. Even though these dubious allies had a common hatred of the Huns, it was still a remarkable achievement on Aetius' part to have drawn them into an effective military relationship. The Huns were eager for battle. Attila's shamans looked at the entrails of cattle and the color of sheep bones and prophesied that the Huns would meet defeat on the Catalonian fields. However, they also foresaw that the commander of the opposing force would be killed. Attila must have thought this a fair trade because he brought battle to Isis and the Goths. Before blood was drawn, Attila stood before his assembled troops clutching the sword of Mars in his fist. He told them, It is a right of nature to glut the soul with vengeance. I shall hurl the first spear at the foe. If any man can stand at rest while Attila fights, he is a dead man. Alright, so we got a bunch of build-up for this scenario. Alright, so look at my resources when we're starting out. I have a lot of resources and you're going to need it. So, the objective is very simple on this one. It is defeat the Romans, Alans and Visigoths. You also have an ally as the Ostrogoths. Uh, the Franks won't actually do anything. I believe they don't even have any forces. The hints even tell you they're basically... Um, yeah, it's basically a death match. Alright, so yes, we are over here, north of us are the Ostrogoths, and west of the Ostrogoths are the Western Roman Empire, south of them are the Alans, and then the Franks have a little base that doesn't do anything south southwest of that, and finally, southwest of us is the Visigoths, which are probably the most annoying, but the Western Roman Empire are probably the most threatening. The Alans aren't such a big deal. Alright, uh, yeah, so the Franks don't do anything, I believe. Yeah, so now we kind of have a... We got to deal with the Romans as well, which is not good. Alright, let's get, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to build a town center right here. And I'm gonna, I'm only gonna bring it with two. Uh, we're going to bring our scout out here, and I'm pretty much going to start walling up immediately. Uh, right, so I'm going to bring my Tarkins back here. Uh, my scout can kind of just look stuff out. Right, so I, I believe I can kind of wall off... No, I do not want a tower. Kind of starting here. And I think I need to wall off this huge section here, so I'm going to kind of scout out everything around me. Yeah, the Franks are kind of over there. I'll take down that lumber camp, I guess. Actually, no, I won't. I'll use that as a wall. A little bit, at least. Alright, so i got to wall this off, too. I've got to actually wall off a bit. I'm going to wall myself off from my allies. Because, honestly, they're not going to be that useful. So, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Ostrogoths, but uh, not, not, not going to help you that much. Sorry. Uh, firstly, there should be some stone over here. You have a lot of trees behind you, so you won't really need to worry about that. Gonna have to wall that off. Yes, there is the stone. Alright, so... 
so pretty much uh, when we start out, I'm going to start uh, making a lot of villagers and we are going to start mining the stone. Right. And you are getting this stuff done. Uh, no, I do not want that. That's how you go. I need to learn hotkeys, man. Alright, we'll do that. Alright, let's kill this wolf here. Right now, where is my... Okay, I forgot about these sheep. What I should be doing is leaving a Tarkin so no one will shoot, steal my sheep as well. There are some berries that I actually forgot about. But that is fine. That is a lot of villagers I have. <laughs> Alright, there's also some uh, stone over there. Attila, you brought us to this accursed battlefield. Now, you must keep the Romans from killing us all. It will be fine, I think. Totally. Right, um... I don't think... Well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll put a gate here. And that is everyone chasing that one scout there. Which I do not want. Stop it. Alright, you can go and just wall off this last section here. Alright, so just keep everyone on stone because you're pretty much wanting to go for castles mostly. I know it says build an army first, but it's not that necessary. Uh, I'll build the gate here. And can I get this going? No, and no. That part, okay. Alright, so just get this this uh, part up. We're going to wall off these bridges, of course. And I'm going to actually bring this guy over here. I'm going to get a lumber camp up. Pretty much right there. There's, there shouldn't really be too much of a problem as you're starting out. Because uh, they, they really aren't that aggressive. At least not on moderate. So, you know, they'll, they'll scout out a bit. I don't know how I've... Oh, it's my ally, okay. I was really confused this there. This river will run red with the blood of Goths and Romans. Yeah, Ostrogoths just do uh, some stuff. Uh, that attack is going to fail. I don't exactly know what they're doing. But, you know, if they think they can, I guess. So, yeah, for some reason they, they think they can actually take the Romans here. And we are going to start getting some... Because that's probably way too much on stone, honestly. Or, no, well, it's probably enough. You need a lot of stone when you're starting out. Alright, so we get these two over here. I'm actually going to get another villager coming out. You're pretty much going to be producing tons of villagers when you start out. It's because you have so much food, so... Yeah, make sure that you do do that. Alright, so the, the first attack's probably going to, um... Come, uh... I, they, they like to attack this if you wall yourself in at the top here. Forgot about these guys. Alright, so we'll go and start building here. I'll need to wall that off there. Alright, you can help wall this part off. And who am I getting attacked by? Oh, Jesus! Alright. Alright, so apparently the... Uh, the... The Visigoths snuck in at some point. I don't exactly know when that was, but uh, that's not great. Alright, we should be fine though. Just get those guys dead. They're just archers, so that should be fine. Um, That should be okay there. Alright, so yeah, I wasn't really expecting that. I don't know when they got here, but uh, that was kind of annoying. What am I getting attacked by? Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> and they took my fucking sheep. Well, I don't care that much. Alright, so I believe the Visigoths are probably the most annoying at the start, so I'm probably going to... Uh, we'll also build the monastery to heal our guys up. So, yeah, I'm probably going to get this done first. We get this guy going all right okay all right so I lost some guys I think I lost my scout but it's no big deal 
it's fine. And honestly, you don't really need those sheep, to be honest, so it's not that big a deal at all. Get that going. But yeah, this uh, this scenario can be a little annoying, but you should be able to do it f without that much trouble, I would imagine. And we're going to get on these berries, I guess. Alright, that should be fine there. And we're going to build a castle right in the middle here. Or at least that is my hope. So let's get that going. You need to start working. And we're getting that stone coming in. And we're going to get some on berries soon enough. Alright. Let's get some more villagers. You don't really need to go to the Imperial Age that quickly. I'm going to wait a while before I do. I'm going to get this guy to actually help with uh, building that wall since there are people coming in. But we should be able to get this castle up. Not that. Not, not, not that quickly, but uh, it'll, it'll come up and probably before the next Visigoth attack anyway. Alright, get two builders up there. You can see I pretty much spent no gold and I actually forgot to get monks. Oh yeah, heavy plow, I forgot to get that as well. Saboteurs, yeah, so as you can see the Ostrogoth army just like ran in there and died, I imagine, yeah. Smart guys, as you can see. Alright, so we're gonna build a wall here. Unfortunately, you can't really get too much in terms of, um, get a university up. You can't really get too much in terms of wall health, because you can't get fortified walls, which is a little annoying, but you're gonna have to deal with that. Alright, just get in there. Alright, so that monk is done. Oh, I forgot to wall off this section. That's pretty dumb of me. Okay. You are going to now let you complete this first, whatever. I'm going to build another gate here. Alright, that castle is up. I'll actually get you guys to take this. I, f I completely forgot there was a little, little section here. And you are going to build a blacksmith and then we can start getting some units out. Honestly, right there we go. That is all of the um, the stone there gone. We're gonna get three of these guys to come down and mine this stone. There's not really that much stone on this map, but uh, we'll we'll deal with it. It's fine. We're going to the Imperial Age, and I am going to build a archery range. Probably should have mark it out as well. So all you start out with are Tarkins, which honestly are not... And they do actually have a castle, alright. I don't, can't remember if they started with a castle. And you can come down and mine some stone as well. Actually, what I want this guy to do is to get a castle up. Um, I should have enough for two castles in a second. Um, I'm going to put it there, yes. And I think I missed a section of wall out here. Alright, so I think they're just attacking now, and uh, that that is just going to completely destroy them, so I'm not too worried there. Uh, I'm going to get masonry. Just in case, but I shouldn't really need it. Uh, I can't... Yeah, it looks like we can't really wall ourselves in that much, so I'm going to just wall this section up a bit. Alright, I'm going to wait until we can get our castle off on that side, obviously. Uh, I am going to have to repair this. Alright, we'll get that out and we'll get Thumb Ring researched. Get Husbandry. I probably need a market if I want more stone and such. And those berries are getting taken care of. Alright, so we're just going to have these two wait around for that last bit of stone. I got everyone else in gold right now. So yes, you will get attacked and it will be quite annoying, but there's not too much you can do about that. The Visigoths honestly do not have that much, but you really should be getting to the Imperial Age before you launch any attacks, I would say. And from what I remember, I think that the um, 
the um right, so I want I want conscription no. I'll wait until that one's done. Alright, so I'll get um trebuchets. I do not have enough on lumber. Alright, that's an interesting one. So get two of these guys on that. Start getting some villagers out onto lumber. Get bracer, of course. And probably cavalier. Oh, while I'm waiting. And that castle's slowly coming up. Alright, so... Oh, shit, I forgot that I cannot get... Without murder holes. Alright, okay, okay. What we'll do is we'll go and uh, get this. I was wondering why they weren't firing. <laughs> I should be able to get another one now. Alright, I definitely need murder holes. I, n I th... I thought that we'd actually be able to attack um, if you're that close up, but apparently not. Well, that shouldn't matter that much. I'll bring my Tarkins out. Uh, honestly, they, they should just like run into them because AI's dumb, but yeah. Where else are they attacking? You're attacking down here for some reason. Alright. Fine by me. Alright, so that is dealt with there. Uh, I don't really need this much on gold. There's, you start out with so much gold that you're not really going to run out th th very early at all. Like seriously. All right. Um, I definitely need murder holes. Apparently, I need chemistry. And I am going to get some. Uh, no, that many. Yeah, I'll get some cavaliers out as well. Of course. Honestly, it it doesn't take that long to actually um, build a wall as compared as, as compared to repairing it. It takes forever to repair walls. I don't exactly know why that is, but yeah. Forgot about you two. Um, what else do I need? I don't really need that much more. I could build a siege workshop, I guess, but no, I don't really need that. All right. Uh, we're gonna need more on food, so let's let's start getting farms out. Oh, I forgot about farms actually. All right, so we can start getting. That is terrible placement, but I don't care. We'll get a bunch of farms going. I don't have crop rotation, unfortunately. All right, so yeah, that's fine. I cannot get hand cart. All right, so we'll get some more on that. Okay, um, right, just getting those Cavaliers out. Yeah, he's dead. Now I can get murder holes. And I'm gonna get another trebuchet. We'll have four. Uh, right, so I kind of want some cavaliers waiting behind. So I'm gonna get like four cavaliers to go chill in this castle here. This is taking way too long. Alright. That's fine there. Yeah, I definitely need more on wood than anything else, so I will get Bosa. But yeah, you don't honestly need that much of an army. Uh, what I should be doing is actually getting these guys to go and build our archery range so I can upgrade stuff. Can't get anything else. Can't even get that. Yeah, okay. So yeah, not, not too much is going on right now. I'm just kind of sitting here looking at all these attacks on my my damn place here. What I will do is I'll actually just get these uh, these guys to go and garrison in because why not? Can I not get past there? Huh. Alright. Let's do that then. You let the fucker in! What the hell, Matt, guys? Oh my god. Well, my teammate is a fucking asshole. Alright. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, well, 
Well, they seem to be attacking the castle, which is pretty shitty. So, we'll just leave that. But Jesus Christ, what the hell are you doing? Alright, we'll be fine. I'm gonna have to garrison this guy up. My teammates, man. Alright, let's try and get Paladin. I actually have enough food for that for once. Alright, so handcart as well. Treadmill crane. All the upgrades are getting uh, dealt with here. Alright, let's finally repair this gate. Alright, so I'm just constantly streaming out cav archers and they're going to be heavy cav archers pretty soon and then we'll probably go attack uh, okay. Tark the Visigoths. As you can see, they're pretty much the only guys that are posing any kind of threat right now. And I don't know if it's just this version, but I played this mission already and it seems like... Um, I don't know, it seems like they never... Um, the, the Romans don't seem to build up as much as they used to, or at least I think it. I think they they kind of don't as as much anymore. All right, so pretty much gonna just stream out cav archers right now. 